What's up guys, welcome to another Tech Gear Talk video. Today I wanna to talk about how planning and scheduling your video creation process will help you become more successful on YouTube. If you're already a YouTube creator or just a creator in general, you know that just having the time to complete all the work that's needed is always a struggle. People constantly tell me that they don't have enough time to produce as much content as they want and that a lot of time that leads them to feeling overwhelmed or frustrated or discouraged. To help with that, I put together a much more in-depth video about what to do when you feel like you just don't have enough time to complete all the tasks that are necessary. And I'll link to it both from the corner here and in the description of this video so that when you have time, you can go watch it and then hear all of my tips. Today, I wanted to focus about creating a schedule for your creative process and why I think it's so important. I'm going to apply it to a YouTube channel, but I'm sure you can extrapolate elements from it and apply them to things like blogs or podcasts. What I see in most cases is that people think of their YouTube videos as something that they'll do when they have time. And if that's your strategy for the next year, then you'll probably get some videos done, but it's not really the best approach. I know that most people think of their schedule as what they have planned, meaning that they look at their calendar and they can see, okay, today I have to do this, tomorrow I have to do this, next week I have to do this. And what gets lost in there is what's not on your schedule that you still have to do. So for example, let's say you have five things on your schedule for today. Well, you're still doing something with the rest of your time, right? There are a million little things that you need to do that you're just not gonna put on your schedule, but you know that you need to do them. So like if you're at work and you have two appointments and two phone calls scheduled for today, you still have stuff to do the rest of the time. Hopefully you're not just sitting there doing nothing, but maybe you are. That's good, you have more time to do planning for your channel. No, don't do that. If you're at home, you need to do things like make dinner, do the laundry, wash the dishes, but those are probably not things that you actually put on your calendar for the day. If you go to school, you have homework, you have to study for tests, you may have some long-term project that you wanna work on two to three hours a week. But again, are those things that you're actually putting on your calendar or are they just things that you end up just doing but they're not on your calendar? And what I wanted to highlight here is how many things we actually do that we don't really consider on our schedule. And this is why I think it's critical that you actually schedule time for all of the tasks that are required to complete whatever the creative process is for you. So when it comes to YouTube, I don't mean just time to shoot a video. You need time to think of ideas. You need to research them, script them if that's something that you do. You need to shoot the video, then edit it, optimize it, publish it, and promote it. All of those things need time. And each one of them requires that you set aside the appropriate amount of time to complete it. I seriously mean, put it on your calendar. On this date, at this time, I'm gonna do research for these videos. On this day, at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and script the videos. On this day, I'm shooting. On this day, I'm editing, and so on and so forth. That way, not only will you be prepared to perform those tasks, but also, if someone calls you and says, hey, do you wanna go out to dinner next Thursday? You're gonna look at your calendar and you're gonna say, oh no, I'm supposed to shoot videos from six to eight, so I can meet you after that or before that, but I can't go during that time. And I know that this sounds super basic, so a lot of you may be listening and saying, I don't need to put it on my calendar, I know that that's when I'm gonna do it. But I promise that scheduling things will greatly improve productivity and consistency. You can pretty much think of topics anywhere and any time. It doesn't really matter where you are or what you're wearing if you're ready to be on camera. As long as you have your phone, you can keep track of your ideas. But if you don't allocate time for it, it won't get done. Now research and scripting, that could be a little more challenging. Uh, and it's also a matter of preference. So for example, I like to do that on my computer because I have a bunch of screens and I can have multiple windows open when I'm doing research and scripting my videos. But there are also times where I'm working on my phone because I'm somewhere waiting for an appointment or something and I have a few minutes. I have my phone so it might be a little bit slower but I can still get some stuff done. Set aside time and put it on your schedule if you want it to get done. Now for shooting, Obviously you have to schedule time. This can be even more complicated if other people are involved with your videos because now you have to take their schedule into account as well. I do everything that you see in my videos. So I take care of the audio, the lighting, the cameras, the editing, everything that's necessary. And even though I'm responsible for everything, I still put time on my schedule for shooting or it just doesn't get done. I don't have time during the day where I'm sitting around doing nothing for a bunch of hours. So if I'm just waiting to fit in shooting a video, it's just not gonna happen. 
never. I put it on my schedule that Wednesday morning at 5.30 a.m. I'm shooting for two hours. And yes, I said 5.30 a.m. I wake up every morning at 4.30. That's a subject for another video, but it really creates a much longer day for me and lets me accomplish a lot more than I used to. Put stuff on your schedule. I'm not going to waste your time by going through each of the tasks because by now I'm sure you understand that you need to allocate time and schedule time for each of these tasks or they just won't get done as quickly as they can. I also suggest you go watch my more detailed video because I talk about batch processing and how you can use that to accomplish more during the time that you have scheduled. For example, if you're working in a linear way, so if you research, script, shoot, edit, publish each video and then start over again, you might wanna think about researching three to four videos, then scripting three to four videos, shooting three to four videos, editing three to four videos, and then just staggering the publishing process. There are more tips in that video, but it comes down to more productivity with less time and effort. I'm really interested in finding out if there are other tips that you've incorporated into your own workflow that you think could help other creators. If you found something that really works well for you, I would really appreciate it if you shared it with everyone in the comment section. I really hope that this quick video about scheduling time to create your video really helps you increase your output and your YouTube success. Give this video a thumbs up, tweet it, share it, and hit the subscribe and notification buttons. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. Good luck and see you soon.